Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2018 Donruss Optic Football Blaster Break. The point of this break is at the end, I'm going to re-randomize everybody's name and the name on top is going to get a TriStar Quest item. We're down to three items left. This looks, feels like a jersey. Some sort of redemption in here, the black envelope. And then this is probably going to be a photo. So that's item seven, six, two. The labels are numbered. We numbered them a few breaks back. All right. Now, big thanks and good luck to these folks right here. So one spot gets you two teams. And then for the randomizer, we'll randomize the original 16 names. But for this break itself, let's double that up. Let's roll it and randomize it. Snake Eyes. Two times. That's easy. One and two. Yes, Brian. I would love to see that. Bring the Next time you're up here. Show me all about all that PSA set stuff. All right. Snake Eyes, one and two. Cleveland Browns down to the Panthers. All right, so Liam has all the teams except for the Lions, which Nancy has, the Dolphins, the Jets, and the Eagles. All right, so let's do that. Let's print that out. So let's do this optic box really quick and then we'll see who gets the item and what item it's going to be. So we'll randomize the names, the original 16 names, and we'll randomize their names and then we'll randomize the item numbers and see what they end up with. Kelvin's asking, if I want to get a card graded faster, would BGS or PSA work better? CPSA has often get it graded faster. I've been hearing about backup. I think both companies are going to have some kind of backup. I think you can always pay more to get it faster, though. I think there's like a faster turnaround time so you can expedite your stuff. But I think just this is, speaks to the popularity of the hobby, I think. I think a lot of people are now interested in grading stuff. And all of a sudden, there's been some delays. Probably on both sides, I would say. There's Neam Hines, rated rookie. Simi Cobbs Jr. Pink. And that's a, there's no autograph in here? I thought there was a... Maybe not. Mr. Blaster doesn't. Oh, the, the pink parallels are really what we're looking for. All right, just making sure. All right, so Liam with the Redskins and the Colts. All right, so you'll get these cards, among others, sent your way. Now, let's see who wins that item. I'm curious about the item. So there is the original list right there. Two, six, seven are the items remaining. So for this new dice, we're going to randomize both lists four and a one five times. Let's randomize the item first. Let's see what we're going to get. Let's get some suspense going. Four and a one five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. It's going to be item two after five. Feels like a jersey. So there's item two right there. Now let's see who gets the item. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. 
The odds were with Liam. Liam, you get the item after five. Good luck. Now, TriStar should have a game show card in here. Let me play a little bit of Who Am I? America's favorite game. I give you the clues. If I can open this, I'll give you clues. And what? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. All right, who am I? This is also an uh, inscribed jersey. Let's see. I can't say any of this without giving it away, so I'm just going to read it. Played collegiate football at Baylor University. A 2011 Heisman Trophy winner. 2011 Davey O'Brien Award winner. 2011 Concessus All-American. Led Baylor to their first 10-win season in 2011. 2012 NFL Draft. Second overall pick by the Redskins. 2012 Pro Bowl selection. 2012 NFL Rookie of the Year. Man, this guy was supposed to be... Yep, yeah, everyone's got it. RG3, Ray, Steven, Calvin, Brian, Blackout. Man, this guy was supposed to be... Injuries derailed him, for sure. But man, he was one of the most exciting names out there back in 2012. There it is. But it's in his Baylor color, which I do like. So there it is. You got Heisman inscription in there and his autograph. And I think these... It's different, Liam, from the other ones. You can see that these are custom jerseys, so you can't... There's no, like, laundry tag or team logos or anything like that. But you got... Probably This is probably better for framing, to be honest with you, if one were to do that. So there you go. Nice. Liam, thank you very much for getting in. Appreciate it. There'll be a couple more of these breaks in the store because we only have two of these items left. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everyone. I'm Joe. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.